right, La Posta. We got burritos, nine calories, whole bag of sauce. Let's go home. Small burritos. What's up, bro? La Posta. These look small. Take it in your chair, Mario. Can we find out if it's a drug front? It's definitely a drug front. But they probably make a good burrito. Yeah, you only need one sauce for burrito. Mm. Salsa is uh, pretty not too spicy, but. No green, just red? Just red. Just red. Not as hot as I expected it would be. Cheese it does taste like some tomato sauce. I don't know, mm -hmm. but it's still good, I'm sure. It but like, it's not bad. It tastes like yeah. Campbell's tomato soup. Yeah. Definitely yeah. tomato soup. Tomato Chef soup Boyardee, soup. for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Some spaghetti Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like ground beef. Almost. I really don't like the thing. sauce. There's no pico. Sauce is the very sauce is the, the worst part. I'm very, I'm sad that we have so much salsa. But it's, not, yeah. but it's not even worth it. It's like an enchilada sauce. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's what it yeah. is. I might pick up burritos here from now on and go next door for sauce. <laughs> I wish this cheese was more melted. It's really? too clumpy. Or mine at least. Mine's melted. Mine's, melted. Mine's kind of clumpy. The cheese was a little clumpy, but it was kind of melty. Could have been a little more melty on the cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always put the salsa on and I expect it to be good, and then I eat it. And <laughs> it's not <laughs> good. And every single, single time I'm yeah. disappointed. I like the greasiness of the meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I put in the It's super juicy. I get that greasy concept. It's like wet, mm -hmm. like you were saying. Yeah. Mm. The fatty oils adds so much flavor mm. to the meat. Yeah, it's pretty important. Wok is good, cheese is good. I'm feeling a low 80s. Fries are pretty one. good. Low to mid 80s, maybe. I'll say this the first five bites, I thought it was great. After that, two was, words, start and finish. After that, it went downhill quick. Even the amount of cheese it, on There's it so much cheese. I feel like it got Is it clumpy though? The, the, the first bite was probably nice. It starts to get clumpy. Mm, that's how California is like. That's good cheese. It's dude. melted, man. Is it? There's some clumpy. I'm getting good, good cheese, bro. Mine well, was just super good. Really good cheese. This is good. This is kind of what I envision in California. It's a good burrito. It's a good burrito. Not a lot of sour cream, but like a perfect amount. Not a bad burrito. It's a really good burrito. Not a bad burrito. Good. Really good burrito. I love the meat. I'm gonna have to yeah. say that. The sauce though. The sauce, the sauce let's not bring is up the ruining sauce. my life. The sauce is the best. If you look at the sauce, there isn't even any peppers in there. Yeah. Yeah. It just tastes tomato. straight tomato. I think they definitely made it with tomato sauce. Yeah. It's like a straight like enchilada sauce. sauce. Regardless yeah. of the shit sauce. Yeah. It's a really good burrito. Mm. It's a good burrito. It's a good sauce burrito. Does weigh it down. I mean, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Good sauce. It has all the stuff, but I don't think sauce. Sauce is a lot. Sauce will make or break it. And we didn't even go through one cup each. La Posta on Campo Road. This was a good burrito. This was a really good California burrito. I'm gonna say the tortilla was excellent, very, um, it's the right amount of cooked, the right amount of thickness, there wasn't too much on the first bite, which is rare for a burrito, that was a good first bite. A lot of meat, decent fries, perfect amount of sour cream and guac, nice juicy burrito. The downside was the sauce, the red sauce, all they had was one sauce and it was red and it's it was just tomato paste basically but I still had to use it because you can't eat a burrito without sauce it's illegal overall though the rest of all the ingredients and the way the burrito is put together and balanced and all that good stuff made up for the shitty sauce which is surprising because that was a really bad sauce if I had to go get a California burrito I would go here but I would get sauce from somewhere else with that said, I'm going to give this a perfect 80. La Posta de Acapulco on Campo Road. Uh, 
This place is underrated. It's right next door to Sarita's. I feel like Sarita's kind of overshadows this place. Rarely noticed it. Um, seen it plenty of times and I always thought it wasn't good. Then I thought about it. It got to be open this long as Sarita's for a reason. Burrito was juicy. I le really liked the flavor and the meat. Um, it, the tortilla was strong enough to hold all the juice together. Um, downside, salsa. It was just a cup of V8. Um, um, there's also no pico, um, but I'm not a big fan of pico, so I could care less for that. Um, I had guac and sour cream. Cheese was nice and melted. Um, one of my favorite burritos. I'm going to give it a solid 80 on the dot, too. Would have been an 85, 90 if the salsa was good, though. La Posta on Campo Road. Solid burrito. Pretty good in size. I could have ate another one. It was fulfilling, but could have been more. The ratios were perfect. Good meat. Could have been more fries. I think the sour cream and the guac, the ratios are always important in a burrito. And all around, it was probably one of my favorite burritos in San Diego. I'd have to give it an 85, except I think it would be pushing low 90s if it wasn't for the sauce. I felt like I just opened a can of Chef Boyardee SpaghettiOs and I was just pouring that on my burrito. Very, very subpar sauce. So overall, 85. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Slicko here. Um, so let's start with this burrito. When I first bit into it, the first bite, it's probably the best first bite I've ever had of a burrito. But after that, it all went downhill. I don't know, by the end of the burrito, I didn't even want it anymore. Um, but everything was good, you know, when it started off, but the burrito didn't get better the more you went into it. I felt it got worse. The potatoes started to, to taste funny. The meat wasn't, wasn't good. I don't know, the sauce was bad. Nothing just kept me going with this burrito. I'd have to give it a 70. La Posta. If I'd have to eat this burrito again, I would eat it without the sauce. Definitely not a fan of the salsa, like everyone else has said. Um, however, the cheese in it was really good. Got melted cheese, got a lot of it. I uh, really liked how it was spread around the whole burrito. Good guac. The meat was really tasty. All in all, this is probably one of the best burritos of the season so far. I um, was really happy with it. I uh, would, would definitely eat it again. Uh, I think I'm going to have to give it a 80 also. Morito here. California burrito from Posta. Um, I'm going to hit you with the start, two words start and finish. Starting off with juicy and ending with... It's a good question. Come back to me on that. Um, fulfilling. Um, let's see, the salsa was the downfall. What a lot of people didn't mention is, yeah, it tasted like tomato soup, but you forgot the green. Um, there was only one kind. They gave it to us in a bigger cup, which was great. Um, but I mean, give it to us in a bigger cup and make it taste good. Um, California burrito itself had all the good good toppings that, that make up a California burrito. Um, super juicy, and I was super impressed with it. I think this is definitely the top one um, in the season. I, actually, the best one in the season, top one, uh, definitely top five overall in my opinion. Um, give it a solid 80. <sighs> burrito Mars here. Um, this week we had La Posta. Spring Valley Road, or I think Campbell Road, Spring Valley. This one's right next to Sarita's, and uh, I've always given it the benefit of the doubt because uh, I always thought it was not good being next to Sarita's. But it was a really good burrito. I enjoyed my California burrito. I thought overall it was one of the top five burritos we've had all BBC. Um, the cheese was really good, the meat was good. I had that greasiness, uh, juicy juicy feeling to a burrito. Meat was good, cheese was good. Guac and sour cream had good ratios. The fries were all right. Tortilla did really good holding up the burrito. 
salsa we got a lot of it good amount we had it in big cups but the salsa wasn't as good the red sauce tasted like tomato paste wasn't spicy at all had no green sauce pretty disappointed on the sauce um, overall, overall rating I'll give it a uh, 83 uh, pushing the high 80s low 90s if it had good salsa but it didn't um, good burrito burrito more is out F-bomb here, La Posta, Campo Road. Let me begin by saying this is what I envision a California burrito as. Um, it had meat, cheese, fries, sour cream, guac. I think there was a little pico. Tortilla was pretty good. The amount of guac and sour cream were really good. I like having a lot of that. Uh, the meat, I thought the meat was decent. The fries could have been crispier or more fryy overall. Um, there was hardly any pico. But like everyone said, the sauce was tomato soup, and that was no good, and sauce is very important. Um, but overall, this is probably one of the best burritos I've had. Um, so, I'll say 80. I'll give it an 80. Solid 80. F-bomb out. All right, we got a lot of 80s. We got a lot, a lot of, of 80s. A lot of 80s over there. I feel like everyone's on the same page. This one doesn't yeah. need much of a discussion. Except Are you Cinco. on the same page? <laughs> I mean, give yeah, it whatever you guys want to give it. Best, I, I best said my part I've ever had. The <laughs> damn burrito. <laughs> and then downhill. It was a really good burrito. The only thing is, we dock other burritos for the fries and the salsa. This fries were soft. Salsa but the tip. thing this is, this was probably this one of the worst sauces. The worst sauce. yeah. This was the worst sauce, but, sauce, but this was a this was like a, at least a high eighties burrito, and the sauce yeah, just fucking yeah. The burrito it itself is probably ninety. Yeah. The sauce tanked. The sour cream and guac was fucking right. This is probably the first burrito we've had where it was just it fucking had it right. Good. The cheese too. Yeah, the cheese could have been a little more melty. I forgot well, to mention that. Burritos. But yeah, oh, like the novelty of the guac and sour cream wore off. And it didn't. Mm. That feels just not yeah. like Seventy from Lee. He's just because yeah. because there's no pico. If the fries are crispy, we're up to eighty-five. Yeah. yeah. If the and sauce needed, is good, we're more. at ninety. It needed more yeah. fries, not just crispy fries. It needed more mm -hmm. fries. And it did need more fries. It was lacking. But there was a lot of meat. <clears> but but the overall pico. feel of it was just oh, right. It was good. No pico adds points for me. I think if this burrito had pico for sweets, I think the ingredients were good. good. There was a little bit of pico. Did you guys not have? So. I, 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 I had tomato bits. Oh, was it? Mine were. I mean, I, it, the stuff wasn't bad. I'm just saying that. I don't know. The, the guac and sour cream didn't carry the whole way for it. Well, if the fries were a little better, and the sauce was a little better, 90s, low 90s, high 80s. I think if the sauce was good. It would, it would we're not here. Lives. We're not here to recommend you, you know, know what, even what to do better. My burrito were, good. we're here to like, shit on them. Part of the burrito experience, especially if you're from out of town, is the sauce. The sauce. You're right. It's the sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. And, and you wouldn't good take point. somebody to a place that has shitty sauce. Because I would just tell them the sauce here sucks. But that's a majority of the experience <clears throat> of a burrito. Especially well, you ask them first if they really if they eat their food with sauce. Like said, if they don't eat their food with sauce, you don't take you them. Don't, you burrito. shouldn't be talking to them <laughs> yeah. in the first place. Eighty. I say it's an eighty. I'd say it's an eighty. Okay. It's I'll give you guys this weekend. I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> we're all fulfilled. Are we all fulfilled? La posta. We're not gonna fight it. It's an eighty. <laughs> <laughs>